In this lesson, we will look a little bit at an assignment. The assignment name is uh, Customer GUI, and it is about uh, creating a model class and some other classes like uh, a test customer class. But in this little lesson here, we will focus mainly on the customer class and see how we can create this class very fast in NetBeans. If we look a little bit at the assignment, we have a description of the classes here. It's free. And we can see that the customer model class, the sign model class, should hold some standard data, some method to carry out calculations and so on. Let's look a little bit down here. This is assignment number one. You can just highlight it a little bit take a copy of it. I'll show you why later. You can see there are three data fields and a default constructor and two other constructions. And then we are asked to do some set methods, some get methods and some to string methods. So let's go right away. Let's create this uh, project. And I have cheated a little bit here. Already created the customer administration project. And inside here, there is nothing. So we'll create the customer class. It's a Java class. It's a normal class. got it here. Now a little trick could actually be to take uh, the assignment and simply uh, copy it into this one if you don't want to switch around the window the whole time. But of course this cannot be understood by the compiler so we simply make it as a comment. So now we've got everything and we can see what we need to do here. Now we saw that there should be some data fields. Classic way would be to say string name, nothing more. But there are other ways of doing it which actually might be a little bit more beneficial in the long run. So let's out comment it. Let's see the NetBeans way of doing it. Go to source, insert some code. Now here we are asked uh, for several possibilities. Property is the nickname for data fields here. We want to add a property. And the name of the variable was name. But usually I choose it to be private. And we can now see how the generated code will be here. And we notice immediately that it's automatically also creating a get and a set method. So we don't have to waste our brain on this. Just click OK. Fine. You can see now it has been automatically inserted. Of course, there are one too many. That was the first one. Now, what was the other ones? I needed a customer type. So, let me see. I can also just right click on the f this um, text and then say insert code here. Add a property more. We notice that there are the free protections here, so possible. Just use private normally. 
could also be static. That means it's a class data field, class instance field, instance variable. And it can be made final, where we simply have to go in and give a special name for it up here. Of course, that we don't do for this customer type. So it's just a private like this. <coughs> well, you can see there's a little one I'm missing to set here. Generate getter and setter means I want both a get and a set method. Now it's fine. Done. And the last one I think was year. Not a string. It's an int. Private. And it said default it should be 9999. One might actually go in here and write 999 here. I'll later explain why this is a, not a good idea. Looks like this. All right. Let's see what we got. We got set and get methods for all the data fields. That is what we wanted. We got the free data fields. So what we are missing are some uh, customers, uh, constructor, and uh, to string method. So let's do them right away. Uh, we have to put them, I think I will choose to put them down here, if I'm lucky. Uh, that's not a good idea. Actually, they've been organized a little bit strange in contrast to what I, I would like to organize. Let's make a constructor. And we have a default constructor. Default constructor has no parameters, so we just say generate. Got the first one. And then I can see here and here I can actually click them. And uh, then I'm wondering a little bit why I cannot see the year. It's not offered to do any constructor, including the year. Let's go back and look, look a little bit at the code here. And um, we can see here per default has got this value. And therefore, for some reason, NetBean will not accept this. Right away, I will change this one. And then I will just say default is year size 999 down here. And I'm ready again. And the next constructor was these two here. So I generate the next constructor automatically. Perfectly all right. Notice down here that uh, this dot customer type is used for the variable, the instance variable in the class, simply because there's a name overlap here of these two. So what else am I missing? Get method to string. Yeah, that's right. Let's do that too. I didn't want that. Now sometimes if you're not positioned correctly, it will start to offer you something else. And this else is what we absolutely didn't want to get. So we're down here, inserting some code again. And then it offers it to string method. Ah. And it actually offers that we can include all the free instance variables here. Just tick them and say generate. And we get the to string method. And we can see it has very nicely put up what is to string method actually should say. 
customer and then what is the year what is the customer type and what is the name of the order of this uh, of course uh, one can uh, go in and change probably normally I would one would like to have the name first why was this order like this that is the question if you look at it you can see it's a little bit big messy here but actually the name is the last of the data fields and here is uh, look positioned as the first of the data field and that is why the order is as it is now now I actually finished the first assignment very very fast but uh, a little rig structuring of these things here would be nice or simply move them a little bit around so they stand where they should belong What's the other one? It's here. Oh, here it is. It takes a little time. Like this. So now I have the data field organized. Then I actually prefer to have this one away. I have the customer, two constructors, and then I would prefer to put in here the code of the to string. At any rate, et voila, now the order is also like I wanted to do. So this is a NetBeans way of organizing, as you can see if you're used to TextPad or BlueJ or some other simple editor it uh, auto generates a lot for us now we just need to erase all this and we finish the code let's try to compile it just to be absolutely sure that there's nothing wrong yes it was built successfully no worries at all So uh, there are actually more things to do in this uh, customer assignment. So I strongly suggest that you go to this and then uh, that will finish the understanding of the customer administration assignment.